Fortnite creative has had a lot of terrain styles over the years from basic old days with the chapter 1 terrain all the way up to the present with this lovely mix of modular and shark and other things. And I want to determine what the best, most fun terrain style that looks the best. To achieve this I'm going to be recreating 4 terrain styles in Fortnite creative in this video, starting all the way back with chapter 1 terrain and finally finishing out with the most modern terrain styles. So without further ado, let's go! Okay, so our first terrain star today is the is the, the chapter one terrain. So to, to do this, we're going to have to go to the cliff galleries. And we are going to choose this lovely grey cliff grass gallery, which has all of these pieces in. And the, and the key one for this terrain technique is this piece. This is the main piece we'll be using today. This is a very old technique, so I don't expect it to hold up, but we're going to give it a try so we're just gonna size this one all the way up put on grid snap 4 and we need to make sure that's uh, buildable because this would be used for like BR maps and, and all sorts of stuff that has building a little bit too high so we're just gonna shrink that one down like that so that is the main piece it is gonna mostly consist of this so uh yeah So this is the part where it gets a little bit more interesting. I'm going to try and create some curved ones. They're probably going to look absolutely abysmal, so I apologize in advance. But you know what? Let's, let's give it a try. Okay, so I've created a couple of these sort of hilly things. You can see the I've sort of tilted them a bit so they create these very, very rough hills. Again, this is a very old terrain style. It's not really sing up to date. And then we've got a bunch more of these things sort of making these very chapter one looking, no, I wouldn't say cliffs, but like little like stepping stones you can climb up to traverse across the map. And I copied it and put it over there. The thing about 2019 maps is they often had sort of things like this, where you'd have like a very small landmass made out of a few of them off in the distance. So that is the next thing I'm going to recreate. Okay, so I've added a bunch of these little mini islands. That's very, uh, very 2019 battle royale, I feel. I even added some of these little offshoots around the, around the edges of the map, so it's just less square. But I do feel like this is the main terrain piece people used. Now onto just naturing the hell out of this place. And with nature, that is our first terrain style complete. The sort of chapter one, very, very outdated terrain technique, I'd say. This is old, man. This is old. This makes me feel old, because I remember when this was, like, the, the dominant terrain style in the in the creative sphere. So we've got a lot of chapter one trees, some rocks. We've also got these, like, logs around. People couldn't afford to have big POIs in with the memory limits back then and, and the small maps, so... 
who would be forced to just have a lot of like empty space like this so they just like nature the hell out of it with tons of trees and and rocks and things so um i feel like i haven't done a, a terrible job of replicating it i feel like i've done a pretty decent job but uh yeah now it's it's time to go on to the most popular terrain style of all time and the most long standing which is shark cliff terrain so the the 2020 the 2021 shark terrain style unsurprisingly requires that we get out the the, the shark terrain gallery now the main piece i feel we're going to be using is this bad boy this is the shark terrain floor piece. So we're just going to size it all the way up. And we're also going to, to crucially need this corner piece. We're going to have to size that one up too. That's another very important piece. So we're going to size that up to that point. And that should be all we need. So let's just get started on creating this terrain, shall we? Okay, so the, the basic terrain here is done. We've got the floor, got uh, this little hill here, and we've got this like big cliff. I've also used extra cliff faces to, to sort of make that a little bit more 3D. That's I feel that's slightly more of a modern technique, but uh, this is definitely the sort of 2020 style there. But here's where it gets interesting because I've got these. These are hill pieces, a small hill piece, and then a mega hill piece. These were, I think this was shown off in a Mustard Plays video, I think these sort of became popular around late 2021, except, except no one could do them, because it's, it's really hard to get these pieces together. I did one, it had showing lines, but I used them anyway, and people didn't like them. Now, these particular pieces were made by, by Mr. Nova J, the man best known for making and cancelling everything. So yeah, I'm going to use these pieces and uh, make this a little bit more uh, alive. I've sort of added hills going around the edges and I've added some hills just to make this a little bit more 3D, a bit less flat. So that's something about the, the previous terrain style, it was very flat. Uh, it's a lot of effort but you can make some nice looking terrain like this. So the only thing left to do now really is to just add a ton of nature. Now I'm one of those people who had to be a difference so I never fully conformed to the 2020 nature method of just stuffing it everywhere but uh i'm going to i'm going to attempt to to make that now and, and probably fail So this is the Shark Terrain 2020 style. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I've never done this style fully before. The, the, just the nature, it looks really nice. Yeah, I, it has to be said, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. These great big pine trees, especially in the background. It, just, it looks really nice in my opinion. This was the dominant terrain style for years. And in fact, most maps you see today will still use this terrain just with less nature. 
because now we've got XL maps. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I finally got around to doing this terrain style and giving it a try because it looks really nice. But uh, next up is is the one of the newest terrain styles introduced in 2022, and that is modular terrain. Now, one thing to note with the modular terrain is that there's a lot of it, so you're going to want to, to be careful of what you use. There's, there's a lava, there's, there's desert, and there's grass. So the grass one is what we're going to want to, to, to go with. And you're going to want to make sure you've got the buildable option, because the, the, the non-buildable one, obviously you can't build on it, and you can also break it. So we're going to chug down a couple of... I think we'll, we'll actually need all of the... the buildable temperate galleries and then we'll just select what we want to use from those so as you can see there's a lot of pieces to choose from here and I, I get that can be a little bit daunting so I'm going to help you guys narrow it down I'm going to cut out all of the, the snowy and rocky ones we'll keep uh keep a couple of these mountains for the background we're going to want this piece this piece is very important but get rid of the, the snowy versions and stuff uh you're going to want this piece and then this piece so we're going to get rid of these now of this one, this one's a lot easier, you're basically, for the, for the sake of this, I'm just going to use this one piece here really. Now uh, let's get to work, so we're going to use this lovely piece here to, to sort of build out the terrain floor. So we're going to, uh, that's not what I meant to do, so we're just going to extend the width and the depth of it, and decrease the height, like so, so we've got this nice terrain piece, and uh, yeah, let's get to work! Okay, here's, here's the thing about modular terrain, right? It's the easiest to make, but it's the hardest to make look good. Because it, it doesn't seem to be made for just making fully out of modular terrain. Like, that's not what it seems to be designed for. So when you try and make floor pieces, because they didn't make a specific floor piece, you get stuff like this that just looks really ugly because these pieces have so many height changes. Like, you can see the, the height changes there, and then it changes there again. And you follow it along, and then it becomes part of of this height and then you come over here and there's there's a height drop off and around the edges the height drops off so it's not an ideal piece but if done well it can look nice but uh yeah this is by far the fastest to, to make something with which is, i think is why a lot of people use it because they can make stuff that looks like semi-decent much quicker than with any other terrain technique so we're just going to nature this up now using chapter 2 nature again here we go Alright, so this is the modular terrain style done. As you can see, the, the, the nature is a lot more sparse in this style. It's There's still a lot of it, and actually, the more I look at this, the more it looks pretty good. If I was to just change up this, I think it would look a lot better. But as you can see, I, I've used this sort of big rocky face, it's like a cliff face, to add some more like three-dimensional, some more dimension to the, to the cliff here. And mountains especially can look really good in the in the modular terrain. That's because they actually made specific mountain pieces like this great big one. Now one thing I did forget is this piece. So uh I guess we'll we can use that as a sort of overhang for cliffs. Like that. We just add another one. There, that doesn't look too too shabby. So yeah, that's basically modular terrain. Now, now onto the, the most recent one, which is the, I don't even know how to describe it, it's, it's the 2023 
color picker slash modular terrain mix. All right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I do not feel like making this terrain style again. It takes a long time, and an upcoming video I'm working on right now has this terrain style, so I'll show it more in depth then. But basically, it uses uh, if we if we chuck this one down like so, you can see it. It's very nice, very nice. But if I if I go into creative, it uses the color picker stuff. So we've got the color picker grass foliage. And we've also got the the hill terrain prop, which is a always a nice one. And it also uses the lava version of the modular. So as you can see, we've got the same sort of techniques with the the cliff bases here. We've got these nice pieces. The thing is, though, this is best for zero build because yeah, these these grass pieces are oh, yeah. these grass pieces are breakable tiles, which is a little bit annoying, but it, it does look really nice. This was popularized by a Twitter post. I'll throw that up on screen unless Editor Jackus forgets to do that, which still sounds like something he'd do. But what we're going to do is we're going to mix in some unreleased currently, hopefully this will get released soon, Chapter 4 foliage. So we've got some nice oak stuff and we've got a couple of birch trees. And what we're also going to do is grab the hill terrain prop and just sort of size it all the way up so we can sort of use it as a thing going around this so it doesn't look like it's just in the middle of the grid island void which it is but you know everyone needs to know that So that is the final terrain style and yeah I think it looks pretty cool. This is obviously the most underdeveloped, it's a very new terrain style, pretty much popularized by like a single Twitter post. So I don't know how long this one's gonna stay around for, it doesn't seem to be like replacing shark terrain right now. But I like it to be honest, I do really dig the style, it just takes a very very long time to make it. It is by far the, the most lengthy creation time of any of the terrain styles. So, so let me know what you guys think of these four different terrain styles. We've got the, the OG Chapter 1 terrain. We've got the Chapter 2 Shark terrain. We've got the Chapter 3 Modular terrain. And we've got the Chapter 4 Color Picker terrain. Personally, my ranking would be number 1 Shark terrain, the good old classic. Number 2 Color Picker terrain. Number 3 Modular terrain. And then number 4, the worst one, is the Chapter 1 terrain. It's just too outdated. Although stylistically it is quite cool and it is very nostalgic. Let me know what you guys thought of my recreations. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Use code Jackus to support me making terrain, I, I guess. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.